Hello guys. Hi. How are you doing? No, I'm joking. Uh, so guys, we are doing a haul video. So our haul consists of... Pennies. And golden disc. So, just say the went to the room, there's a vlog on this guys. So check that out. I don't know what way I'll put these up, but you'll... I'm oh, sorry, that was my phone. I heard something beeping there. Uh, but basically, we went to Dundrum, there's a vlog on it, and we went to Golden Disc, and we went to Penny's, and it was a random buy as well as something that Sarah needed to get in, in Penny's, and then Golden Disc, we seen a brilliant offer, and it was, what was it again? The offer? 10 DVDs for 10 euro. Yeah, 10 DVDs for 10 euro, so we both got 20. DVDs, so we've got 20 DVDs to show you. It's our. I don't think we did a DVD haul before, did we? Yeah, we have. Well, this isn't the biggest one, is it? No, because when HMV was going out, mm. we did haul videos on that. Alright, so it's been a while since we did a DVD haul as well. And we have a small penny haul with Sorry this. For with this. She's tired, and it's a long day, and the heat and all is getting, to, yeah. getting in there. But we'll open the window in a few minutes if we haven't opened yeah. So so guys we're gonna go off and start this. Uh I have one extra thing to show because I'm gonna add it in because Sarah got me something for during well, the I week. would add in his stuff, but they're all over my room. Uh in places that I cannot find. I can find one of them. There's one, two I'm not taking that off the door. Three. I have a llama doorstop that I got in Tiger. Yeah, so it's pretty much there, guys. There, if you can see it on the door, it's pretty cute. It, it holds, it holds, keeps door open. it keeps the door open and all that. So, but there's Sarah's one of her presents. Uh, I got her in GameStop. It's a Hogwarts scarf. It will get into the winter months now. It practically is in the winter months. No, so we're not having the best winter here because, like. It's really sunny. sunny. <laughs> I know we've had the best summer. Ireland has had the best summer in years. Yeah. But um, it's getting into September, so the autumny weather is going to start rolling in soon, which I'm looking forward to. It has been kind of on and off getting there. It was raining a bit yesterday. It was lashing on Thursday. <laughs> There's a small bit of clouds out, but the sun's out at the moment. Guys. I can tell you, it was lashing Thursday. I got stuck in that. <laughs> I was out with work. So we're gonna start off with the pennies because it's there's less of pennies than there is more golden disc. So start off. This is Harry Potter. Gryffindor. So it is. It's a Gryffindor. It is a make. I think it's classed as a makeup bag, is it? Mm -hmm. I think it's classed as a makeup bag, but I'm using it as a That's pencil good. case for college because I have a ton of Harry Potter stuff. I have the perfect bag to match this. I have two perfect bags to match this now. Mm -hmm. That I can use one for work and one for going away because we'll be going away to Parkview. So I'm going to put like a load of little bits in here. Yeah, that's another, that. that's another vlog, guys, to look forward to. to two day vlog. Or two three day. We'll mm -hmm. do three. We'll do the day we get there, the full day, and then the day we leave. Okay. So we have three vlogs. And uh, Have you seen our previous Parkview uh, with our anniversary? This is another one when we're six. I'll probably do another video of we're six, like what we're, six we're bringing. Years. Yeah, we'll do a pre, pre. See, what's in my going away yeah. bag, basically? Yeah. I'm going to do. We'll have we have a few bags, um, and a vanity case. Yeah. Okay, I got the, that. Van. By the way, that pencil case was a, how much was it originally? A fiver. Yeah. It was originally a fiver, and it was down to two. Sure and then yeah. this here was originally four, down to one. You might want to bring that a bit closer. It's a Gryffindor keychain, so I'll probably put that on my bag. I'll probably put that on my uh, Harry Potter bag that I have here on the floor. Um, I got another pair. Speak, I've, here, guys, so. I already have these now, but I got another pair of these uh, really, really comfy leggings. They're nine euro in pennies, and they are the comfiest leggings I think I've ever, ever worn. And they're so comfortable to walk in because I've had to do a lot of walking this week in work. So it would have been Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. No, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think it was, or something like that. I had a ton of walking to do. Monday, actually, it was. It was Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I because of work. And I wore these, and I'm telling you, I even got drowned on Thursday with the rain. Went out in Clara Lara, and they dried up really quickly. So, they're amazing. I have one pair, but they're in the wash. 
I need another pair. Mm. Literally, literally, when she was finishing Clara Lara, she came back and it started raining bright. So she, yeah, it just she brought it with her. With her. <laughs> it kept bucking it down every couple of minutes in Clara Lara. So, but the funny thing was, only the right side of me got completely drenched, which is hilarious. I don't know. The left side of me dried up faster. The whole right side of my jumper was destroyed. It was soaked. Graham gave me his jumper because I was walking around in a t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have another item that I got in pace, but I'm currently wearing it. I'm going to get her to stand up in a few minutes, guys, when um, finish the show. I got this as well, which is a really cute belt. Really sturdy. So it has these like, little kind of silver studs. I needed a belt because if you'll see in the vlog, there's part of the vlog where I say I need to change out this when I get home. It's my pair of shorts that I have. They're just falling off me. So I had to get a belt. Now, this belt was four quid. Not bad. Which is more than I would normally spell, spend. I pay, six, I pay six for my belts because I get two. But it's more than I would normally spend, but in saying that, we will be taking a trip out to Dundrum, another vlog for next month, mm-hmm. um, and Hull. We yeah. are going to save up a good bit of money and do a big shopping spree in Dundrum next month, because um, the penny stairs have gotten a little bit better. It's gotten a little bit better, so I might pick up another one. Um, yeah, one of the items I'm currently wearing, so I was trying on yeah, it. So, it's so it's this little skirt here that I got. It's like a little yellow tartan skirt, and it goes just above my knee. So it's this. And it's kind of stretchy material. Yeah. But it's like really scrumpy and soft and all. And it's long enough and all like that. Um, I got that for six quid. They have it in blue as well. So again, if it's there in September when we go out to, to do our shopping, I'll probably pick it up in blue as well. Mm-hmm. The bigger item I got, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it on camera, but if you've ever, ever seen the Penny's 55 euro Vanity case, Pardon, uh, pardon the mess, guys, of, our, of the room. We're getting to that stage, but there it is. There. It's a vanity case. So all my makeup is currently in here now. And that was fifty-five. Yeah. So it just opens up like this, and I have like all my makeup in it, and my makeup brushes have currently no, been knocked over. Oops. So that's that, guys. So that was that was the most expensive one. That was fifty-five. Ah, cut my finger. Um. Of everything that we got, but not too bad. I also got ice cream. You got that's ice down cream. in the freezer. <laughs> I got Hagen Day's uh, chocolate and salted caramel because they don't do Belgian chalk apparently anymore, which is pissing me off because I absolutely adore Belgian chalk. So, guys, we're going to get on to um, the DVDs now. Uh, Sir, is did you put that over? I'll do my one since you did pennies there. Okay. Uh, so I'll show you mine, guys. Uh, what I got. Uh, I just should have it because it's mine then. But uh, anyway, so basically the deal we went into Golden Disc and um, it was ten for ten. Well, originally it was. Sorry. Originally five five, it was five for ten euro. Yeah. But then there's this big yoke posted up saying anything with. Let me just show you. This little orange sticker here. Yeah. Uh, it was actually ten for ten. So we got 10 DVDs each for 10 euro, which is pretty good. Mm. And there's a lot of good DVDs. Yeah. So I'm going to go and make a start, guys. Is everything okay? Yes. Yeah, right, no. o- 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 OCD moment. <laughs> no, but it's like it's part one, part two, so. Yeah, yeah. Might as well. Okay, so guys, I'm going to show you my lot first. Um, yep. No, oh, the TV went black. Alright. So. <laughs> No, some have reasons, some don't. Um, that because of um, uh, Foreman, seventy show Eric. I like him in seventy show. Not the best for Spider Man, but we'll see how he does in that. And that is take what it? take take me home tonight. It's called. That might be a little bit of a romance. One. It's a comedy romance. Comedy romance. Rom-com. So. I want to watch them. Yeah. Notice. Yeah, I've I watched, watched them. one. I haven't seen either though. It was meant to be good. But anyway guys, I got um Sin City. The first one. It was pretty good. Um then I got part two. I had picked part two up once and there was a alright cover on it, but I've seen this and it's it's a sleeve basically. So it's Sin City two. Uh so it's pretty cool. It's got it's got Lady Gaga in it. Uh, I've seen clips of it so it's okay i haven't seen the full movie uh 
I'm trying to get back into watching the Planet of Ape, Apes film. I have seen the previous three, and then this is the James Franco one, which is quite good. Oh well, it's quite good looking. I haven't seen the film yet. Um, Sorry, my next I've seen this. I've seen, I've, I've seen this plenty of times, uh, but I get it because, uh, like him, he's a good actor. Um, it's creators of Zombieland, and again, if you don't know, guys. If you don't know, guys, uh, Zombieland 2 is coming out and he's back. So that's another. Uh, Not just him. They're all back. They're all back. <laughs> uh, this was another one that I want to get because I've said to myself that I want to watch it and Sarah's. We have seen it. We have seen it years. I forget. Ago. Like, when was this released? This was released in 2013. That's yeah. how long ago it was. We saw it when it first came out. There was like a deal on for renting movies. Well. I can't remember the last time I watched it. It was pretty long. Pretty long. I want. I wanted to get it because. As long as I really uh, yeah. Really. <laughs> I wanted to get it because I wanted to rewatch it again clearly, and uh, Sarah's Ob One is in it, so we'll be watching that as well. And uh, this one is a, like a part two, basically. If, if anyone has seen Real Steel, um, this is the part two of it, basically, and it's okay. called Chappy. It's Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's brilliant in real steel and should be pretty good in this. So I'll be either watching that tonight or tomorrow, depending on our food. We today. haven't decided what we're having for dinner or um, what we're watching with dinner. I, I will have to get number one of this uh, because it's pretty good. And it looks pretty good. So we got uh, Ori D2. So ridiculous, extremely dangerous. Or No, sorry, retired, extremely dangerous. Too, which is looks quite cool, and I actually just think there that guy there in the very front looks like knee uh, knee from catfish a bit. A little bit. He's I can't what he's from. But anyway. but besides that, obviously. So this other one that I got, I've heard people watch it, and I've heard people that saying that it's good and all like that. Oh, it's got vision on it. I think that's vision. Okay, right there. No, it's not vision. Oh, I don't think. Um, he isn't something. I can't remember who he is though. Oh, uh, but anyway, uh, the guy from uh, Attack on Titan, not Attack on Titans, Clash of Titans and Wrath of Titans, the uh, guy, him, there, that guy there, he was pretty good and this film's meant to be really good. Stop it. Um, so that's one of my other films. And then this, <laughs> I thought I'd get this, this was a random pick because um, I've said to Sarah plenty of times on Netflix, it's got part two. I have never I haven't seen part one yet, so I went and got Ride Along. Uh, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. Or Kevin Hart. Is it Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart. I don't know. We the front of the cover in your phone, yeah. Kevin Hart. Okay, it's Kevin Hart. So thought I'd just get that. So that's all my DVDs guys. There's organizing O C D in on her DVDs. No, because I got kids movies and then I got normal movies. Yeah. So I did. So So I'm gonna go through the kids movies first. Because there's a lot of them. Oh. So there is. So the first one here, I'm leaning them on Graham's lap here, I am actually replacing because we went through the DVDs in my nephew's room, which has all my Disney DVDs and basically random kids DVDs, and this is missing. So I decided to replace it because I was looking for one movie, so. It's Balto, which I, who I absolutely love, love watching Balto, one of my favourite movies. Um, a lot of these are very childish, so yeah, whatever. Next Ooh, one, we all, we all have our inner, inner child, basically, so. Oh, this comes with a poster. Oh, just bonus poster. No, I'm checking. <laughs> anyway, next one I got is My Little Pony, which I know is very childish, but it's Equestrian Girls, and this is Friendship Games. This is on Netflix. I have watched it, I think. I have a feeling I watched it. So this has five original shorts and an Equestrian Girls recap. So, it's an hour and nine minutes long. Most streets have free stuff in them there. Do they? Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll see. Okay, so, the next four are part of a collection I'm doing, which is the Barbie collection. Again, very childish, I know. But, but honestly, guys, if you know, uh, if you've watched TV or if you looked around, there's about people in the 40s that collect Barbie, so it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't really count I've as... I've collected them. It's been... Something I've been collecting since I was very, very, very young, basically. Look at fucking what's called? What's his name? 
Mr. Smithers. The actor? Yeah. No, no, Mr. Smithers, like, in the cartoon, he has, uh, I forget what the name of uh, Lisa's doll is, it's like Barbie. Uh, and she meets her favourite actor that does the voice of uh, something like that. But Mr. Smithers in it's Simpsons. Cartoon, that's not a I know, but, like, th- there's people out there that like Mr. Smithers that have collections of okay. old-fashioned stuff. I don't know. Back to Sarah. <laughs> anyway... I've been collecting them since I was a child, so there's no point in me finishing now. And I do enjoy watching them. So I do. Still make them more. Yeah. I don't know when the next one's out, though. Because there wasn't one released this year. Anyway. You probably don't have them all. There's probably just some probably very ones that we haven't seen that are out. So you probably still have to get a few. Oh, we'll no, there's still a few. Oh, I we'll have to go through the list. I have to go through my list again. Hmm. Anyway, the first one is Barbie Rockin' Royals. So it is. And as Graham said, a lot of these um, come with stuff. Mm. This one says, free inside, make your own Barbie microphone. So that's pretty cool. I should be looking at that. The next one is Barbie in the pink shoes. And apparently this comes with multicolored bands. Yeah. That's really cool. These other two have the same thing as that one. Free multicolored bands? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Now, I thought I had this one. Clearly, I, clearly I didn't. I can't remember. But it's Princess Charm Skill, which is one of my favourite ones, I have to admit. Pink Shoes wouldn't be my favourite, but I do like it. And then the last Barbie one I got is Barbie and the Secret Door, which I absolutely love as well. So I do. And then my last four are more normal movies. So first I got the Will Smith, Jaden Smith, After Earth movie. Really, Really good movie, guys. Which I did see, and it is good, and I'd like to watch it all in one go. Because what happened with me was, me and Graham sat down to watch it, but I fell asleep. So I just fast-forwarded it to the last point I remembered, and watched it from there. And I, so, just, I just watched that one. Yeah, so I just wanted to watch it all in one, so I thought I'd get it on DVD, because it was part of the collection. Um, another movie I got was, Rom- I don't know how to pronounce these names, but it has Joey King and Selena Gomez in it. Uh, Ramona and Beezus, I think is how you pronounce it. But I haven't seen it in years and I've really gotten into watching Joey King and stuff. If you don't know, she was in The Kissing Booth recently. Uh, which is one of my favourite movies that I absolutely adore to watch recently. So it is. But I wanted to see what she was like when she was younger. And I remember watching that movie and thought it was really, 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 really good. Um, the next movie I got is one I haven't seen. But I decided... I've seen part of it. I wanted to watch it for ages but I just haven't gotten around to watching it. And it's to help and has... A lot of really, really good actors in it, I would admit. And I have been dying to watch it. I just if anyone never ha- got around yeah. to it. If anyone hasn't watched it, it's really good. The story behind it is getting past the whole woman thing where she's meant to be at home and there's slaves and all that thing. So they're trying to push that away. Basically, it's set in the 1960s yeah. in, in the South. So you can imagine all the uh, rules the and they had back and then, you know. And then my last movie is one I haven't watched in years, and it has Hugh McGregor in it. Look, it got the fifth award. You know, an Academy Award. It has Hugh McGregor in it, but it, I don't like counting him being in it. Hmm. Also, we got comics. I got comics in the recycling center. Got to do with this. Uh, we got Stormbreaker. Um, he's, it's meant, a, he's meant to be a good actor, isn't he? He is Alex Pettifree. He's very Pettifer. Can never pronounce his last name. He is a really, really good actor, and I do enjoy watching this. We might watch this later. And um, my only thing I don't like about it is they make out Hugh McGregor has a massively big role, and he actually has the smallest role out of the whole movie, and that really annoyed me because he was the reason I watched it. So he was. Not Billy Knightley. Bill Knightley is in it. Billy Knightley, really. Bill Billy. Knightley, sorry. Billy Knightley. Ah, Billy. Do you want to show them your last DVD? Yeah, is that Barbara? Sorry, just check that. Sorry, it's Who's not Barbara. Barbara. Jim Gordon's wife. No, it's not Barbara. Barbara Streisand. Right the another annoying actress. Right, Maybe this other know. one, the one I'm going to show you, this I got this as a present. We do we usually get each other for uh, weeks that were out or not out or whatever. We buy each other like little gifts every week. Basically. Yeah. Ba- basically because we miss each other, we don't spend the whole weeks with each other and all and it's especially hard. the past two weeks we've yeah. barely seen each other because of work do you want to turn the camera back on you now so it's not just on me there you go. Uh, because of my work the last two weeks we've barely seen each other and spoke to each other especially this last week 
barely spoke at all mm. because of work, but been busy. busy, busy. That's the summer project over with now, so I'm grand. I can I have a week off now. Mm. Oh God. So guys, anyway, uh, so I got these this in Tesco on on a good offer. So usually most DVDs that come out, it's new as well, just to say. Uh, they come up to about 26 euro and all that, which is quite expensive. Uh, usually you just buy a DVD on the first week and it's a good price. So, I got this. I love it. It's got one of Sarah's actors that I like, that I like as well, uh, from Bates Motel. And it's got Simon Pegg in it and a Steven Spielberg. And I got a shiny cover. Shiny. I got Ready Player One. So, Rocky there it is. has Iron Giant. Oh, yes. It's got Iron Giant. Right there, guys. Right there. Which I'm gonna point out, my uncle worked on. Our uncle worked on our, <laughs> our joint. If you, if anyone wants uh, an autograph. <laughs> my uncle was one of the people who was a cleanup artist uh, for Iron Giant. Yeah. That's well, why I absolutely wanted to watch this I movie. got that, guys. I got that, which is a pretty good movie. It's got the video games, movies, all that, everything that it's I like. It's an awesome movie. It's an awesome movie, and, and I wish the Oasis pretty, was real. Yeah, and it's got brilliant actors in it as well. So, quite good, guys. That's uh, 21 DVDs. So that's 21 DVDs all all in there uh, for what we got. Uh, 20 DVDs for Golden Days. And then the stuff that we got, uh, that Sarah got in pennies. And yeah, and her lovely dress is pulling. What's wrong? Not trying to stretch her back. Okay. <laughs> right, guys, so this is on 21 minutes and we still need to record. We're doing this vlog on this phone. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen it, it's our Dundrum date night. It's an interesting vlog date yeah. night. But yeah, but it, we're getting there. We're enjoying it. All. We don't have time to have a proper date night this month because of a friend's birthday next month yeah. or next week. Next week, so mm. we don't know what. This is just going to be a basic date night this month. Next month, however, is going to be a bigger it'll, one. It'll be a bit better. A bit better. Yeah. But guys, if you have enjoyed seeing what DVDs we have, let us know down below what's, it, what's your favourite out of the DVDs and let Sarah know what's your favourite item that she's got in pennies. Oh, do do Sorry, I actually... I, I swear. Anyway. Stop. I'm going to get him Okay, hit him, hit me. There we go. Right, guys. <laughs> so guys, if you have enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and... If you haven't um, click the bell down below for any notifications for any other videos that have got go that are going up, uh, click that. Uh, click around here for Sarah's face for any <laughs> any previous what? haul videos. In yeah, just make sure any previous haul videos and around my face here to subscribe if you have not. And yeah, there will be more of these videos a lot coming up a lot sooner and date nights and. Other Comic Cons we have as well, and yeah, we'll see how all that goes. So, guys, th thanks for again for watching, and see you guys soon. Sorry for yawning. Bye. Bye.